Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the HIS HD4670 512MB GDDR3 Turbo video card. What's included with the HIS HD4670 Turbo video card is an installation guide, software and drivers, a case badge, DVI to VGA dongle and a DVI to HDMI dongle. The Radeon HD 4600 series video cards are currently available in two flavors, the 4670 and 4650. The HIS HD 4670 video card has a PCI Express interface of 2 compared to the older video cards which has a PCI Express interface of 1. This video card is based on the RV730 core which is built on the 55 nanometer manufacturing process and has 514 million transistors. The cooler on this card is fairly large and it's comprised of a plastic top with a blower style fan. The heat sink is all aluminum and comes in direct contact with the GPU but not with the memory. The fan pulls in cool air, forces it across the heat sink and then ports all the warm air outside the case. It's an excellent design that works very well and is used on most HIS video card products. The fan is also temperature controlled and this means that it automatically adjusts the fan speed based on the video processing unit temperature to achieve the best cooling possible. The only downside to this particular cooler is it occupies two expansion slots. This video card has two DVI connections and a video out connection. Note how this card does not require a power connection and that's because it only consumes around 60 watts. The actual core speed on the 4670 video card is 750 megahertz but this is the turbo version so the core speed has been increased to 780 megahertz and the 512 megabytes of GDDR3 128 bit memory is 2 gigahertz. It comes with 320 stream processing units for vertex, pixel and geometry data, 32 texture units and 16 raster operations. The pixel fill rate is 12.5 gigapixels per second, the texture fill rate is 25 gigatexels per second and the memory bandwidth is 32 gigabytes per second. This video card has many new technologies, too many to go over in detail in this video, but let me cover the main ones. Custom filter anti-aliasing, unified super scalar shader architecture, tessellation, high definition multimedia interface output support, and DirectX 10, which is exclusive to Windows Vista operating system. DirectX 10 is the key technology that stands out because it offers much better graphics than DirectX 9. In this video you can clearly see the differences between DirectX 9 and DirectX 10. DirectX 10 offers more dynamic lighting, added detail, realistic shadows, richer scenes, complex environments, and so on. This is possible because it manages data between the CPU and video card much better. This results in optimal use of the CPU and video card for special tasks like graphic effects, AI and physics, resulting in the best performance possible and offers an unreal gaming experience. Additionally, another new exciting technology that's impressive is a Vivo HD video and display platform which essentially enables superior quality and a high definition visual experience. This video card also supports dual display and this means using two displays rather than one will tremendously increase workspace. This video card is also Crossfire Multi GPU ready. These latest ATI video cards use a small Crossfire bridge to connect each video card together instead of the cumbersome external cable once used. This makes installation much easier. This 
This is without a doubt an entry level video card. It certainly can't compete with the 4800 series video cards. But if you're in the market for a video card that is very affordable and you want it to play all the current and upcoming games, well, you should probably take a look at this video card. Overall, it's a great product. Until next time, take care.